Tastes good. Like chips. Hey guys, it's Norm. I'm here at the Exploratorium in San Francisco. I want to find out if I'm a super taster. I'm here with Karen, who's a biologist at the Exploratorium, and what is a super taster, first of all? Well, a super taster is someone who tastes, tastes, tastes gustatory molecules more intensely than the average person. And this has to do with the number of taste receptors you have on your tongue. So you, you, people who have more taste buds in their tongue, better taste buds? Well, not better. We don't want to say better. It's just different. Um, this first got a lot of attention back in the mid-1990s where Dr. Linda Bartoszek at Yale University was studying bitter taste receptors, and she was using a particular chemical uh, that we actually have here tonight to discern whether someone could taste this bitter sensation really strongly, mildly, or not at all. And she was able to tie that to some genetics that was involved. And we also have the cases where now you can actually look at the different structures on your tongue find out the density of them, and these structures house the taste cell receptors, which are inside taste buds. So the more of these structures you have, these little papillae, the more taste buds you'll have and the more taste cell receptors. So the take home message is really that people do not taste things the same way from each other. And it's more than just a bitter taste, right? It is more than just a bitter taste. There's definitely evidence that salt, salty taste, is also subject to this, as well as the other taste, sugar, um, sweet and umami. Awesome, I love the umami flavor. Now only about 25% or so of the population are super tasters. Um, that's correct, about 25% of the population. So about 50% are what we call tasters, and that means that um, they kind of have an a average, run-of-the-mill number of, of taste receptors, and for the chemical we use, they can taste it, but it's not like the most disgusting thing they've ever tasted in their life. And I know about this because I am a super taster, and it is truly the most disgusting thing you've ever tasted in your life. And about a quarter of people are what we call non-tasters. They can't taste this chemical, and they have a smaller number of, of taste buds, and then uh, taste cell receptors. I don't care how bad it tastes. I want to be a super right. taster. Be a, super a taster, taster is not enough. Okay. All right, let's go test it out. Really? Okay, this is really this is pretty awful. <laughs> So folks that are non-tasters, every time I give them one of the papers impregnated with this chemical, they say, oh, you gave me a blank. It's like, well, no, I didn't. You really can't taste it. So I've started having people just taste a blank piece of paper, just so you know what the taste is like. So I'm going to give you one here. So this is just a piece of filter paper. Put it in the center of your mouth. Let your saliva run over it. It's, it's kind of not that interesting. Tastes like paper. Tastes like paper. Excellent. So you can get rid of that one now. And, you know, this is your last chance to back out, Norman. I mean, really, if you are a super taster, truly. Mutant powers for me. Come okay, on. Here you go. So put this right in the center of your tongue. Just kind of let it sit there. That's some saliva. It's, it's really bitter. Okay, how bitter? Is it like the bitterest thing you've ever tasted in your entire life? It's pretty bitter. It's like, really? It's a big oh, uh, yeah. All oh, right, yeah. I think we have a super taster. Or. <laughs> Wow, so in practice, this means that bitter foods and spicy foods affect me more. Wow, that was really bitter than yes, normal people. Actually, and, and people ask a lot of questions about this. Well, I don't seem to mind bitter foods, but if you can think back to when you were a child, you know, how did you respond to sort of bitter tastes? And there's so much um, uh, cultural and experience, experiential issues that actually interplay into what we like and what we enjoy. Some people develop a taste for bitter things, things like, you know, caffeine and coffee, tonic water, broccoli, the cruciferous vegetables, but some people can develop a taste. But intrinsic you know, I'm a super taster too. I should have been doing this with you and had a yucky face on too. But I don't really like those vegetables, but I can put a little Parmesan on them maybe. I know they're really healthy for us, so it's important to eat these. Thank you so much, Karen. I always knew I had good taste. Now I know I have super taste. I'm Norm, I'll see you guys later. Bye.